you know, I wasn't planning on even having a beer tonight, but this throwback that we're about to do and showcase deserved it. I couldn't not drink a beer or at least open one while we watch this group. None for me tonight, rocking the honey lavender tea, which is uh, very nice. Hey, when you got a sore throat, you got a sore throat. I mean, what are you going to do? It's that time of year. We're holding it down. We are watching 27th Lancers. We mentioned it at the end of our Scout So 5 video. Go watch that if you haven't yet. That drumline and percussion ensemble was phenomenal. Uh, Ironically, I just saw that apparently the same day we dropped that reaction video of the show and judge tape, like the (laughs) Drum Corner National Channel released like the lot lot footage from that DVD or whatever from that year. Like, why couldn't you all have done this like two days ago? <laughs> well, yeah, it's funny. I have that DVD, but I, yeah, there's like a few other groups on there. Um, them, I want to say Blue Coats, Cadets, maybe Phantom. Uh, yeah, it's a great DVD, but yeah, it's pretty cool. But uh, welcome to Aged Out Reacts, everyone. I'm one of the hosts of the Aged Out Podcast, Michael Fantini, and with me, as always, is Evan Morrill. Go over to Facebook, Instagram, follow us there, patreoncom Podcast, or hit the join button right here on YouTube if you want to support us financially at all, and never miss an update about content we're putting out, things we're doing, stuff we're covering. Uh, subscribe, comment, like here on YouTube, of course. Uh, stoke that algorithm, or just let us know what you think. Because honestly, I hope a lot of people have good opinions, or just like give it up to this group. Because not only was the 27th Lancers in 1984 phenomenal. It's one of the highest finishing percussion sections, despite the core being in 11th. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure I looked it up. They, they were in 11th in the ensemble finish. The percussion ensemble finished second. Yeah, so second from an 11th place drum corps. Now, granted, it was the early 80s, a different time of the activity, but still. I mean, there's yeah. times they're on mylar heads for the snare line. Like, there's times it's it, you close your eyes and don't watch. It sounds like one person playing on one mylar drum. Like, it, it's nasty. Just ripping some of the rolls with just the quality and beef, digging into the drums. is The quads play like that, uh, the snares do. It's incredible. Yeah, just the amount of chops it takes to muscle through a lot of that stuff. Just obviously the efficiency of the drums is not what it is in modern today. Um, so just being able to have the beefy sound quality really playing in, digging in, just it's great. Yeah, so unfortunately, obviously, the video is from the finals run. Um from 1984 it's not the best video quality you got to work with what we got uh it is the finals judges tape we didn't do the entire show we just clipped like a three and a half minute segment i had to work some magic with like the speed of the video versus the judge tape because i guess uh i'm sure as this stuff gets uploaded yeah the conversion process from analog to digital probably screwed it up somewhere along the line or whatever sped it up or slowed it down but it's a three and a half minute clip it's like a jam session in the beginning with an interlude that kind of focuses on the front which is kind of cool to see the old school front ensemble going to town and then it goes right into like their percussion feature where they're up front and center just throwing down rolls and all kinds of stuff so Uh, I also left his little intro on the tape at the beginning because it's just cool. Listen to him introduce himself and stuff and take you back in time. So let's start this. Good evening, 27th Lancers. They were actually first in percussion ensemble. Whoa, 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 say that again? They were actually first at percussion ensemble in finals. Really? uh, Like From Jay Kennedy. And then uh, Lorenzi had them second, so their average was a 19.7 just behind the... uh, who was first? Uh, Blue Devils, looks like. That was that era of Tom Float where they were right, probably right, kicking right. everybody's oh, ass. Oh, probably doing that like three Peter or whatever. Mm-hmm. I think that's <laughs> yeah. right in the middle of that beginning, yeah. somewhere involved with that. But somebody correct us in the comments if we don't know our history well enough. All right, started this over. Let's uh, watch this little segment. Good evening, 27th Lancers, and welcome to the 1984 Drum Corps International World Championships. My name is Dave Lorenzi. I'll be evaluating the final performance in field percussion. Video will pop up in a second. We'll talk about performance and we'll talk about demand. So I wish you the best. I want you to play for me. Relax. Have a good time. Be with you in a second. Performance and demand. There we go. Don't get those. Don't get that demand word on tapes anymore. This bongo player is awesome. Yeah. Conga is whatever the hell it is. <laughs> I have to back up. I was waiting for that. He back at the drum line. He's like, hey. He points back at the tenors as they have that like end of phrase little like sec, okay, okay, uh, like ending or whatever. Watch this. Dude, he's playing those, those scrapes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Listen to those rolls. Oof. Watch the ball. Eat it, eat it. Uh huh. In there. Oh, how far the activities come. Watch the beginning of the phrase. There. It looked like the beginning it's of that like, phrase. They were doing the bag singing. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, pick it up, And then, dude, those just tap fives into those double axes. Back up, back up, back up. Just insane. And, like, then they end the whole thing, the, like the rock out jam session thing, whatever you want to call it, like a big band, just like going crazy and cutting off at the same time. Like, it's so cool. Where's that hook? Right in there? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let me slide in here. Mm -hmm. This whole section is where you can see the front ensemble and stuff. And dude, dude, sharing a xylo like. We're playing match grip. Rocking that match grip. Well, not anymore, apparently. The old school slow down the line visual switch flipping the left hand over. Get the quads back there. Dick on stick. Yes. The old school visuals. Watch the lamp, the drag right in the switch. Close up on the tuba man. <laughs> nice, Tom. Oof, nice. It's all so segmented. Oof, those passes the go ball back. Right. Those like accented, like those accented drags popping out there. Getting so quiet right there. Look at the car guard work. Holy crap. Apologize to everyone's ears for that whistle. I'm going. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. I love how candid he is. I know. Mm. Jeez. Uh, I'd rather not talk. Just listen. <laughs> Fair enough. Then the mid show, Mark Time Mark. We got to give the gong some love. Oh, I didn't keep the audio in for that. Whatever. No, that stuff is just timeless. It's just so it cool to go back and watch stuff like that. It's kind of funny, too, about how it's come a little bit full circle with the approach to bringing the percussion ensemble up to the judge because of the new requirements where the judges can't get out on the field. It's like, well, if you want your battery to get red, you're going to bring them up front. So it's basically full circle to what we just I, watched, like standing up on the sidelines, just jamming out. Might as well just stand there and play. You know, I hadn't thought about that, but you are 100% correct. We have come full circle all the way back around to where it all started. Drums <laughs> come up front. Play your feature, disappear back into the horn line again. So as much as everybody's like, oh, there's today's and this and blah, blah, blah. It's like, I mean, it's cyclical in nature and you got to know your roots. Yep. Hopefully by cyclical means we're com coming around to the period of the P1 and P2 judge again soon. But uh, probably or not. probably not somebody in 10th place being in second. In percussion. Yeah, that's in, it's <laughs> wild. 
it's it shouldn't be the way that it is that, that it's so hard to place that high. You've got to be undeniable when your core is down at the bottom of the top 12. But it's just a testament. This group was insane for the time they were competing in and performing in and stuff. And that where the activity was at, it's just some of the, the role quality. That's the one thing that this era of drum corps, I feel like, has on any other era just like the way those drummers could dig into those heads and produce just meaty beefy rolls even at fast tempos it's chops in a different way like now people have like not to go podcast mode like hybrid rudiment chops yeah um i I would say versus then it was like strength chops for sure and i mean even with the way you approach like rolls in the modern activity indoor and outdoor like it's much more of a buttery smooth approach where you like pure relaxation let the head work a lot for you just manipulate the rebound and let the stick breathe instead of like you just said there's a lot more muscle involved and a lot more like just playing through the head now it's and I, i prefer now honestly as a performer because it's easier on the elbows the wrists the arms like they probably would too they just didn't have the drum technology for sure shells and the uh rims and stuff so i mean as technology gets better the activities move to where it has in the playing approach for a reason so all right not to get too yeah. podcasty <laughs> let's wrap this up the short little video today appreciate everyone hanging out this share this with anyone you think might enjoy it this is a blast from the past one of the best probably percussion sections that existed throughout the 80s um this will in other news be i think indoor basically like the pulse preview show is this weekend So hopefully we get some content to watch. We can check out one of the best groups and upload that next week and give our opinions and hear everybody else's opinion on it. Um, So, (laughs) yeah, looking forward to that. And then uh, we'll see everybody. Oh, comment, like, subscribe, Facebook, Instagram, Patreon, join button here on YouTube. You know the drill. Got to do it every time. We'll see everybody in the next one. Peace.